Well, here we go. For those of you who think that's fake, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta improvise because I'm too lazy because my shirt's a little bit too far away for me to grab at the moment. So, anyways, Ben in between sets, we're gonna dim that a little, oh yeah. <laughs> ben in between sets, just thinking here before I get started on a back workout tonight. Sometimes you just got to set the example. You know what I mean? You got friends who want to do what you do. They want to get into the crazy lifting lifestyle. They want to be healthy, look good. Summer comes quick, boys. Pit stop. Summer comes quick. And uh, you want to look good with your shirt off. We're anti-dad bods around these parts. So, you know. We surround ourselves with uh, those that reflect the lifestyle and dedication that we try to set an example for ourselves, and thus trying to bring your friends around you up with you. And so, got me thinking: How do you show somebody how to suffer a little bit? You know, how do you gracefully guide them through pain? Because I can tell you, waking up aches and pains, back hurts, neck hurts. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. It is 8.31 p.m. on a Monday night right now, and I've already rolled jujitsu. I ain't feeling the hottest, so to speak. But uh, we're in between sets, in between dynamic workout and my back workout, actually. And uh, got to put my shirt on. Sometimes you just got to find a unique way to show your friends how to lift, how to suffer, suffer in silence at times, and just suck it up, buttercup. And sometimes you gotta be a little bit more graceful and sensitive and understand that sometimes people around you are going through a lot. And people hold things in, especially us men, sweep shit under the rug and thinking that's gonna just solve it by forgetting about it, not realizing that dirt piles up under a rug and eventually that rug becomes lopsided. It's got bumps and holes in it and it ain't comfortable anymore to sit on and walk over. So people, friends, family, we're not good at expressing emotions for the most part. So sometimes understanding those friends that keep asking about working out and how to get ripped and diet and I want to do martial arts and feel confident about my feel confident about myself rather and they just keep seemingly fail and not showing up all the time doesn't mean cancel those friends out sometimes it means taking your hand out of your pocket <laughs> reaching it across and showing them the way that didn't come out good Sometimes it just takes you to, what I was trying to say is that you grab their hand. Oh wait, it's gotta be their hand. Oh no. Sometimes you just gotta take their hand and guide them. Show them the path. Because it ain't easy, but I can tell you what, it's so much more worth it when you break through and see a threshold cross that you know they wouldn't be able to cross without you. Sometimes you are the hope <laughs> you are the key to opening a whole new world of what it means to be a loving decent human being because you've worked through some stuff through various types of therapies such as in my opinion working out's one jujitsu's another any types of martial arts you know and and talking to a professional and or friends or family that are well versed and capable of listening and giving feedback that will actually help you and sometimes that's the hard truth too right not every friend wants to hear the truth and it doesn't mean you can't say it in a loving way but love also doesn't mean just being fluffy and nice 24 7. sometimes you being loving also means just being very truthful very transparent so it's a song and a dance like everything else in life and just like I'm about to sing in my underpants because that chili ain't sitting right. 
So maybe it's time that it's not in between sets. It's a... <laughs> I tried so hard. Get the fuck back to work, asshole. I'm Ben. In between sets. We'll see you on the next one. Go get swole, son. Ugh. Now go lift.